Hey, what's up? Uh, uh, what's up, guys? Okay, so uh, this is my uh second video about the uh, extremal graph theory, and uh, previous that uh, we talk about the uh, Mantel theorem. Uh, so let me quickly uh remind you guys. So the extremal graph theory basically uh ask uh given the subgraph H, and then what we want to ask what's the maximum edges of uh an n vertices graph which. Uh, this graph G does not have the subgraph H. And the uh, Mantel's theorem say that if G is a uh, triangle free, basically there's no triangle, then uh, the number of edges is at most bounded by n squared divided by four. Okay, and uh, the bounds tight. Okay, so uh, the natural question is, uh, how do we generalize when H is the complete graph, is a complete graph? Okay, so this is the torrent theorem. Basically, there's also a graph called torrent graph. Okay, and I will explain all this in detail. Okay, so what is so uh so basically the idea is that the T and R. Uh, right. So basically, the T and R is the maximum edges. It's the maximum edges. That the uh, n vertices graph, so n vertices graph G can have without a subgraph k r plus one. So this means that the uh, complete graph with uh, r plus one uh, vertices. Okay, so a particular example is last time we just showed that it's Mantel theorem. So Mantel theorem basically triangle three, right? So triangle is basically K3. So in this case, R is two. Okay, so this means that TN2 is basically uh, N squared divided by four. Okay, maybe plus small one. Okay, so it's, you can show this basically. Basically, it's n squared divided by four, and uh, there's a lower function. But uh, if, let's say you and it's maybe not divided by four, but however, basically you can just add some small one. Okay. Okay, so uh, maybe we don't care about this. So basically, basically n squared divided by four. Okay, so this means that uh, t n two is n squared divided by four, and then we want to ask what's general of t n r. Okay. So theorem, basically this is what Torrance, which this is what Torrance proof. Basically the theorem says that T and R is uh is bounded by uh one minus one over R n squared divided by two. Okay, so obviously that if you put put R equals to uh two, then you just get the mental theorem. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this is what we gonna to prove in this video, okay? And also the bound is tight. Okay, so uh, I would maybe uh, first give a proof and then we show an example that, uh, or maybe we just show an example why this is, uh, give an example that uh, uh, almost satisfied this bound and we, we would prove this theory. Okay, so example. And this is called Turin's graph. Okay, so uh to be simplicity, let's say uh n let's say r divides n, okay, just for simplicity. So this is just uh r divides. Okay, so uh let's say so let's say I can put n divided by r points here. And then another n divided by point here. And another n divided by point here. So I just group all the vertices into n divided by r chunk chunks. Okay, so all, all these are vertices. So let's group them. Now uh for each for each vertices in this group connected to every group, every point in the group. 
So basically, all this will connect this, 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 this and then this, 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 this. Uh, but there, but they should not connect it in. Uh, they should not connect in the same same level. So it's connected to this this. Okay, and the second point also do do the same thing. And third point also do the same thing. And also, for example, these points will connect to all these points. Okay, so you can imagine that it's very 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 dense. Okay. And uh, obviously that uh, there's uh, no uh, kr plus one. Okay, so kr plus one basically means that there is a r plus one points. They are all connected to each other. But, but there's no such point here because there's undivided by our, uh, undivided by our uh, box. And each point at most connected to like, connected to r, right? So we only have kr kr subgraph here, but no kr plus one, okay? So let's uh, let's compute the, the number of vertices, uh, sorry, number of edges in this graph. Okay, so it's, okay, so what's the number of edges? So number of edges is basically bounded by, right, so total, this is the total number of edges minus the, so we just minus the, the point that didn't connect it, right? So it's n choose r, n choose r minus one, because each of n choose r box or a group, they don't connect it to each other, divided by two, and then there are a total r of them, okay? So we just n square minus n divided by two, uh, minus two n, n choose r minus one. Okay, so you can see that minus n canceled. So you n square divided by two, one, minus one divided by r. Okay, so this is uh, basically the bounds that uh, the bounds that we uh, try to prove. Okay, so proof. So we are going to show that uh, this is true. Okay, and uh, there are many proof, but uh, I want to do is the simple proof basically using the induction. Okay, so the induction method, we will induction on uh, induction on, on what? On A, right? <laughs> so let's say we fix R. Okay. And uh, easy to see that, uh, easy to see that this bound, right, is trivial. Uh, when uh, it's true or it's, or it's true, trivial true when uh, N is less or equal to R. Right, the reason is that if you only have R vertices, then uh, definitely there's no way you have KR plus one, right? Because KR plus one subgraph need R plus one vertices. Okay, so this is trivial. So it means that N is one, two of the R's, this bound is trivial, is the true, okay? <laughs> right, because, yeah, you can prove this, right? Because in this case, uh, if n is less or equal to r, then obviously this one is less or equal to this. This one will be less or equal to r r minus one divided by two, which that means that you don't have enough edges, right, for for you to like have kr plus. Okay. Uh, okay. So the induction, basically on a. Okay. So the uh, what do we prove? The idea is that uh, let's say we take uh, some. Uh, so the idea is that uh, 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 we can assume. Okay, so this part is, is most difficult part. We can assume that T and R, or any graph, can uh, satur saturate this bound contain KR uh, subgraph. Okay, so notice that we don't allow kr plus one, right? But we allow kr. So idea is that if there's no kr subgraph, then I just add more edges so that it, it contains, it must contains kr subgraph. Okay, so if this is true, that means that uh, we can take 
this KR here. Let's say I, I choose five for the overlap and so that they're all connected to each other. Or maybe the, this is the back plot. You just uh... okay. So ours, uh, fine. Okay. So in this case, let's say I take these vertices, and the the rest are all the the other vertices. Let's call it B. Let's call it set A. Okay. So we can compute the number of maximum edges. It's bounded by all the edges from A. So it's edges from A to A. So all the points from, uh, so this means that the edges contribution from any point on A and A. Okay, so this is bounded by R, R minus one divided by two. Because this is a complete graph, plus the edges from uh, A and B. Okay. So notice that since there's no KR plus one, right? So every B can only contain, not contains all the all the edges, uh, all the points in A. So that means it's R minus one and minus R. Because these are N minus R point. And each point, each vertices in B cannot contain all the point in A. Otherwise there will be KR plus one subgraph plus all the edges from B to B. And uh, by induction, this is Tn n minus r. Or Tn minus r and r. Okay, so this is the recursion formula but that uh, we can we can do. Okay, so uh, basically it's this. Let me just write down. So it's uh, r, r minus one divided by two plus r minus one and minus r plus t n minus r r. Okay, my claim is that uh, my claim is that t and r. Okay, so now we can we use the uh we use the induction right. So this is basically one minus one divided by r n minus r squared divided by two. Okay, so let's do the stupid calculation. So let me just write it as r r minus one and n minus r squared. Okay, so what should we do? Let's combine these two. So we get r minus one and minus r divided by two. Right, because r minus one again n minus r. And uh, yeah, okay, plus r minus one divided by r n minus r squared. Uh, so these two, these two term, uh, this term is simple, right? So like I can take r minus one out, and n minus r divided by two plus r divided by so n squared divided by minus two n r plus r squared divided by r. So this is r minus one, and uh, oh sorry, I forgot about two here. Okay, there's a two here. Okay, okay, two here. So I can see that there's a minus r term. We'll cancel this in. Okay, so that means here we can eliminate this guy and this guy. Okay. So what? So these are like one minus uh minus r divided by two plus n squared divided by two r plus r over two okay so uh now these two cancel right so i get r minus one n squared divided by two divided by r so it's one minus one divided by r n squared divided by two amazing right so if we finish the proof as as, as i just explained Okay, so uh, this is the the tolerance theorem. And the next video that uh, we're going to show that uh, we are introduced that more exotic graph so we can exotic uh, subgraph H. And then we want to find uh, we want to find the bound. We want to find uh, find its bound upper bound.
Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next videos. Oh, by the way, subscribe to my channel.